Hi guys, welcome to the Larry Studios. We'll be talking about the pull refresh uh, in the in the Android Material Design. What about we'll be using the Material uh, logo, the circles, the water drop, the ring, and the Smartisan uh, icons, you know, to actually uh, implement our pull refresh. Uh, we'll be integrating these into the list view, the recycler view, and also the scroll view. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I have my source files where I'll be explaining the source files and details. In the Gradle scripts, the module app session, we get to talk about the dependencies needed for this particular uh, pull refresh. Uh, we're talking about the com.bios pull refresh layout library 1.2.0 at the time of recording. Uh, this is the uh, version used. This particular library is very, very important. Uh, the pull refresh layout. Uh, without this uh, library, the integration won't actually work. After you do this, after you come, you include the compile, you need to synchronize Gradle and you get your application ready for coding. I'll be moving straight to the rest, uh, the layout. Let's get to look at the layout files involved. Uh, we talk about the activity demo, which is like the activity main act, uh, the activity XML. Uh, we have the activity list for the list items, uh, the recycler view also, and uh, the third one, which is the scroll view. I'll be looking at the activity demo, which is like uh, the main uh, XML of this uh, particular application. It's a linear layout with uh, the orientation vertical calling on the demo activity Java class. We have three buttons on this activity. Uh, the first uh, button actually goes onto the list view. The second is for the recycler view, while the third is for the scroll view. So there is going to be an intent uh, attached to these three buttons. Let's get to look at the list uh, view uh, XML. Uh, the context is also the demo activity, which is the uh, main activity. Uh, we have to include the tag, the pull refresh layout, uh, whereby we have we are set an ID to it called swipe refresh layout, the layout with an ID match parent, and the list view uh, follows. Uh, a closing pull refresh layout tag and a closing relative uh, layout. Let's look at the recycler view. Uh, now, uh, just like the way we have the list view, uh, we have the pull refresh layout. Uh, it's ID swipe refresh layout, the layout with an height match parent, and the recycler view tag must be there instead of the list view this time. And we have a closing pull refresh layout and the corresponding relative layout closed. The activity scroll view this is for the scroll items. Whereby uh, we have a relative layout as the parent tag, uh, followed by the pull refresh uh, layout. Whereby we are sending an ID to it called swipe refresh layout. The same ID flows around, and uh, we have a scroll view tag. Uh, whereby we have an, a linear layout right inside it with text view to hold uh, uh, some text called text uh, calling from the string uh, XML. Another view follows uh, whereby the background color is slightly light gray and the text view follows to hold the second text are uh, called hello pool refresh layout and another view uh, another view follows with the background also gray. The closing inner layout of the inner scroll view layout and the scroll view itself is being closed followed by the pool refresh layout and its relative layout. Let's look at the design view of the scroll view uh, XML. Uh, rendered and let's see how it's going to look like uh, in the UI. Right, I'm having a rendering problem. Never mind about this. Uh, let's move to our Java class whereby we'll be talking about the demo activity, the list view activity, the recycler view activity, and the scroll view activity. The demo activity is just like the main activity. Uh, this extends the activity uh, class and uh, the uncreate method call on the set content view, the relative layout activity demo and now we have our list view click uh, whereby an intent you know you start an, an activity so based on the intent passed to the list view activity class we'll be talking about a list view activity class the same thing goes for the recycler view activity class and the scroll view activity class you know these are three buttons being instantiated with an unclick listener uh, passed an intent right there to their corresponding classes now the list view activity, I will only be talking about one of these activity because uh, it actually flows round. You know, these are uh, extends activity, and uh, we call on the whole refresh layout from the library. Uh, come 
the browse widget our on create method is going to call on the set content view uh based on the super on creates saved instance state and the content view is going to call on the activity list view xml now we have our string array where we instantiated the string to the length of 50 and we have a for loop about the counter variable starts at zero if the i which is the counter is less than the array length and it's rates by one now if this iteration is happening uh the string will be passed to each array based on this index and the concatenate will be this index that the string with concatenating with this index now we need to instantiate the list view the same thing goes we get this we set the adapter uh calling on the array adapter uh, based on the layout simple list item uh we get the layout itself we pass it onto the pull refresh layout however we get this id which is the swipe refresh layout that actually moves around through all uh xml's id the circular view the scroll view and the list view we have the swipe refresh layout id now we're going to set on refresh listener you know when there's a pull and there's a refresh there's going to be a listener a post delayed and they set refreshing to false so this is going to actually have a three seconds is a three thousand milliseconds that's just three seconds now the area adapter extend recycler view adapter whereby we have a view order as a generic object uh we have the m array and the m context now uh the context and the string array are passed as a parameter and being instantiated appropriately the view order set on create view order whereby we get the layout list item we have the unbind view order whereby we get the m text view the set text based on the m array and its index i there's a get item count for each uh recycler list uh, and also the view order extends the recycler view based on its view order uh, let's get to look at the on options item selected which is uh, at the top bar, which is where we're going to be selecting different options of the material uh, pull refresh logo or icon. Whereby we have the style material, the circles, uh, the water drop, the ring, and the smart system. So, so it's going to actually pick on each ID which particular uh, refresh button are you talking about. You can actually extend the refresh you know, with uh, the view order. Uh, there is going to be yeah the pull refresh layout where about when it's been listed to the refresh listener you know something a method can actually be passed into here probably you want to actually pull uh some json files or you want to uh mostly is always trying to pull some files from the server you know probably through json uh uh coding so you can actually do uh the runnable here and get it uh done and populated in the ui trade all right uh i'll be moving straight to the manifest uh, the android manifest uh whereby we have the launcher activity which is the demo activity you know the question which is the main activity now and uh, you need to call on the three activities used which is the list view activity the recycler view activity and the scroll view activity you have to include these three activities in the manifest or else a click on any button the list view or the recycler view uh we have it is going to actually crash the application because uh there won't be a corresponding activity to listen to the button click i'll be uploading the source file to my github account and i'll be uh, showing this in an android emulator for you to actually see how the uh pull refresh uh is being uh, used here yeah, we go with the application the pull refresh now you get to see the three buttons the list view the recycler view and the scroll view i'll uh, first of all start with the list view a click on this list view we call on the list view activity let's get a look at that right we have the activity here now we have the menu at the far right corner now a click on this menu will enable us to pick on which particular uh refresh icons are we using let's first of all try the material refresh now we need to pull down to get the refresh working and you notice the refresh coming up gradually so 
they leave it it gets rolling all right uh, let's get to look at the second style of refresh which is the circles notice this google used to use this very well probably in adsense and in youtube get to see this particular type of uh refresh uh, it's just that this is an emulator it's just to uh, actually swivel better than that let's get to look at the water drop full refresh of the water drop okay, this is the water trying to drop down As the water drop, and the last one should be the how we still have the ring. That's the ring. You can decide to use the ring, and the last one is the smart system. Click on this. I and you pull down and you get to see how that's it's being reviewed i pull down to get the smart system all right the same integration has been done to the other uh button clicks uh which is the recycler view and the scroll view uh activity let's get to look at the scroll view activity This is Smart Citizen, right integrated to the scroll view. As a Smart Citizen, kind of uh, integration. All right, thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time and get yourself using the, uh, the pull refresh. You can pick any of these modes. Uh, icons to actually use to indicate your refresh thank you once more and have a wonderful time bye bye